Hello, this is Rich again, and this is a special um, YouTube video. Last night, the professional wrestling world lost one of its legends, an innovator in the world of sports entertainment, Wayne Coleman known to the professional wrestling world as superstar Billy Graham, passed away at the age of 79. Superstar Billy Graham was a legend in professional wrestling. He was the trendsetter to many wrestlers who imitated his, his persona. Such Wrestlers as Austin Idol, Jesse the Body Ventura, Precious Paul Elling when he wrestled, and the immortal Hulk Hogan, among others. Superstar Billy Graham, before wrestling, was actually a Christian preacher. And he... And he um, pl pl played Canadian football with the Montreal Alouettes. He got his start in the world of professional wrestling by training with the legendary Stu Hart, WWE Hall of Famer, in the dungeon in Calgary, Alberta, Canada. He wrestled briefly under his real name, Wayne Coleman. Around 1971, he wrestled in the San Francisco Territory as Billy Graham, part of the fictionist Graham family, which inclu included Dr. Jerry Graham, Crazy Luke Graham, and Eddie Graham. None of the Graham brothers were related in real life. Um, superstar Billy Graham won many titles in the San Francisco Territory, including the NWA San Francisco United States Championship and the United States Tag Team Championship with um, fellow WWE Hall of Famer Pat Patterson. Then superstar Billy Graham wrestled in several other regional territories, including the AWA Championship Wrestling from Florida, Mid Atlantic Championship Wrestling, and others. And he had a classic interview style like Muhammad Ali. Superstar Billy Graham's biggest break took place in 1977 when he beats Bruno Sammartino for the WWF title in Baltimore, Maryland, April 30th, 1977. Um, superstar Billy Graham was told by Vince McMahon he was going to have a 10-month reign of uh, being WWE champion, dropping it to Bob Backlund on February 20th, 1978. But... With the transitional champion of superstar Billy Graham, even though he was a heel, he had some legendary feud with Dusty Rhodes, the American Dream, Ivan Polish Power Putski, High Chief Peter Marvia, Gorilla Monsoon, Mel Mascaris, and return matches with Bruno Sammartino. And the fans, even though superstar Billy Graham was a heel, he was getting cheered. Like crazy, and he told Vince McMahon Sr. he wanted to turn face. He wanted um, his tag team partner, Ivan Koloff, to attack him. And then they started a big program. He said that Bob Backlund would never be a successful champion. But Vince McMahon Sr. was committed to having Bob Backlund as champion. And two nights before Superstar Billy Graham lost the title to Bob Backlund at, at a cage match again. In Philadelphia against Bruno Sammartino. Bruno Sammartino almost won back the WWF title from superstar Billy Graham. He told him backstage. And Bruno says, you what? Dropping it to Bob Backlund? 
And then after Superstar lost to Bob Backlund, he had several rematches, but he lost to Bob Backlund, and then Superstar left WWF, and he went on to a little bit of having depression because of so much money he made as WWF champion, he could have made even more as a face champion, but Vince McMahon Sr. did not um, want that. And then he went in the World Strongman Competition. On In the early 1980s, there were rumors he passed away around 1982 or so. Um, Guerrero Monsoon wrote a column in in the Philadelphia News that he received reports superstar Billy Graham passed away of cancer. This was when Billy, superstar Billy Graham was highly, uh, like, addicted to steroids, which were legal in the United States um, during superstar Billy Graham's wrestling career. And in 1982, mid-1982, he came back to the WWF, which was shortened to WWF. He had a Kung Fu gimmick, which was awful. And it, 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 he wasn't like the superstar a few years prior. He was just it, it, it wasn't good. He got rematches with Bob Backlund for the WWF title, but he lost them. And then um, this, and he got phased down the cards, and he just, you know, was backstage. He was addicted to steroids. He bounced around from territory to territory, um, still using the Kung Fu gimmick, and it wasn't good. And in 1986, his body was failing him. He wanted to make a comeback in the WWF as a sympathetic baby face with tie-dye t-shirts. And he was trying to be the superstar Billy Graham of old, but he had a short hip that needed hip replacement surgery. After a couple matches, he got that hip replacement surgery and he tried to come back as a wrestler. But he wasn't good at it. But the WWF kept him around first as a manager to don the Rock Morocco. But he could not take bumps. And then he was a commentator. Which was decent color commentator. But he was not that good. In early 1989, the WWE fired Superstar Billy Graham. They couldn't do anything with him. He couldn't make public appearances because of his failing health. And then after he, he was released from the WWF, Billy Graham, superstar Billy Graham, went on a crusade against the WWE, saying, uh, blasting Vince McMahon, accusing a lot of the wrestlers of u using steroids. That was true. He blasted the WWF on Phil Donahue's show. He became a very, very bitter man. He had several health ailments in the 1990s, getting hips replaced, um, knees replaced, ankles replaced because of the abuse of steroids. Um, in 2002, he got a new liver after he developed hepatitis C, and he was welcomed back into the WWE family, being inducted in WWE Hall of Fame in 2004 by Triple H. He also had a DVD of his career and an autobiography by the WWE. In the last several years of his life, he had an on-again, off-again relationship with the WWE. Depends what day and week it was. One minute he was praising Vince McMahon, and the next minute he was blasting him. The last few years of his life, he, he basically had lots of ailments and health issues, including diabetes, skin cancer, um, heart issues, kidney failure. He couldn't make public appearances because he he couldn't like sit down several minutes without losing his breath. Uh, the last four months of his life, he was on in the hospital. He lost hearing. was wasn't good at all, and was very, very sad The WWE did not offer any help to superstar Billy Graham and his wife of 44 years, Valerie, to help pay the medical bills. And 
just was very sad when he passed away last night. He was an innovator, and I hope the WWE t paid tribute to him before SmackDown on Friday night. Rest in peace, Superstar Billy Graham.